hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial in this channel i teach how to make your pattern drafting how to create your own dress by yourself if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you are welcome my name is julia Wright, and if you're my returning subscriber you are welcome and you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and stay tuned on my channel okay so in today's video i'm going to show you how i made a pattern for the blouse I know a lot of you have been confusing about if this is um two piece or it's a dress it's not a dress it's a skirt and a dress uh, and a blouse okay so today i'm going to show you how i made the pattern for the upper bodies okay so then in my next tutorial we're going to cut and sew and then the next upper tutorial is going to be from for the skirt okay okay so if you're interested in learning how I made this pattern, keep on watching and let's get into it. So guys, we are going to start drafting the pattern for the front pattern, okay? And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create uh, a starting point that is going to become my shoulder line. And also I'm going to create a margin line from the center front, okay? So I just like to do this in case if the my pattern is not straight okay i'm using this margin line as uh one of the the guideline okay so we are what i'm going to do here we are going to be making a busy body pattern so that we can uh use it to create whatever style that we're going to do so i'm marking from my shoulder to my bust line is 9.5 inches and i'm repeating this line twice so that i can have a straight line okay so the next measurement is going to be from my shoulder to my under bust, which is 12.5. So I'm taking my vertical measurement, okay? So this is what is called vertical measurement if you're a beginner. And the reason why I'm doing this uh, pattern, uh, busy body pattern is because of the be beginner uh, that may not understand, okay? So yes, so please pay attention if you don't know how to draft a pattern. Uh, busy body block so this is how you go about it so the measurement i mark is from my shoulder to my waistline which is 17 inches okay so the that uh, be quick i'll be hard they call that style please forgive me i don't know how to pronounce that so yes so i'm extending i'm marking four inches um because the the extension is not that much okay it's just very short so uh, I just mark four inches below. So once I'm done, I'm going to label all my lines. Okay, my bust line, under bust, waist, and the hip line. So um, the next measurement I'm going to mark here is from my shoulder to my chest line. Okay, from my shoulder to my chest line is eight point two five. So I'm going to mark this line across like that. So I'm going to label it chest line. So guys, now that I'm done with my taking my vertical measurement, so it'll be time for us to work on the horizontal measurement, okay? So I'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement. Half of my shoulder measurement is 7, okay? So to get a straight line from my armhole line, I'm going to mark 7 inches at my chest line again, okay? So now I'm going to extend this line, then I'll create this line to create my uh, armhole line, okay? So still on my upper part, I'm going to be marking 3 by 3 inches for my neck weight and neck depth. So I'm using the standard measurement. I'm not doing anything from the upper part. I'm just showing you this because of the tutorial and for those uh, for beginners, okay? So after connecting my neckline, I'm going to mark 1 inch from that shoulder for my armhole line there, 1 inch below to create a shoulder slope. And then I'll connect this line like that to create my shoulder slope, okay? I hope you understand this. So I'm going to find the midpoint, okay, I'm going to find the midpoint in between this line, okay, so I have a, a 3.6, that is what I marked there, okay. Since I'm not making use of the upper chest, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm doing this for the tutorial and for the beginners who may be watching, okay. So I mark my, I mark my bus, quarter of my bus circumference. And that is where I just place my tip, uh, my armhole curve now to create it. Okay, so basically, this is the basic body block. Okay, so guys, with this basic body block, you can create any style of your choice. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail. So I'm just going to start marking 
my bus pad measurement okay my bus pad measurement divided by two is 3.5 inches and i'm going to mark it at my hip line also at my chest line so move on to the shoulder so for this shoulder part i'm going to find the midpoint here i'm going to mark the midpoint there so i need to connect all this mark but before i will connect here from the bus line here okay i'm going to mark one inch below because if i use the connect it all the way like it, as it is i'm going to have a pointed tip okay which i don't want to so you have to go down by one inch mark one inch below before you start connecting all this mark together okay so please watch carefully to see what i'm doing okay so now as you can see this mark here it was meant to be on the bus line but because you went down by one inch you eliminate that okay so now i'm going to start taking my dart's uh, uh, extension i'm taking 0 0.75 on both sides so the total dart that i took from my under bus here is 1.5 inches so i'm going to repeat the same thing on my waistline 0 0.75 on my waistline on both sides that is 1.5 inch in total the same thing goes to my to my hip line okay 0 0.75 on both sides then i'm going to connect all this line together so i have created my dart uh, 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 space so i'm going to use my hip my cuff rule and connect it like that okay i'm going to place it and connect it to stop where that one inch that i mark from the boss line below so as you can see if you don't understand my explanation please just watch it from the from the screen okay so now that i'm done with all this now i'm going to work on the upper region to find out how uh, much i want the uh, my cleavage to show so to find out how many inches you have between from your boss to your under boss mine is three inches okay so i'm going to place it on that three inches from my boss line like that okay i will start marking it so i'm going to use this part as a guideline to to create additional dots so that is why i need to do this okay so i'm going to place the three inches at my boss line like you see me doing and then i'm going to mark it you don't need to mark it round okay we don't need to mark it round just stop somewhere while this this part that you see me marking is the part where i need to use as the guideline to create my dart so i have uh, 1.5 inches for my dart so i'm going to divide it by two i'm going to mark 0 0.75 on both sides okay so this part that you see me working on that is where my dart is going to be this is my dart extension okay so i'm going to carry my curve row now i'm going to take my curve row and then i'm going to connect it again to meet to my boss uh, line okay i'm not taking it all the way down i'm just taking it all the way to the boss line okay just like you see me doing there and then i'll turn the other side also i will repeat the same thing okay please if you don't understand this and if the video is too fast forwarding you can reduce the speed uh the playback speed okay so now that i'm done from here i will just use my curve rule to connect it from this point here okay just the way you see me doing so i will place my get my curve rule like you see me doing okay and then i'll place it like that and connect it so this is like a a deep v neck or a princess uh a princess neckline okay yeah so that is what i'm doing here and afterward i'm going to turn my curve rule from the other side and then i'm going to connect this part like that so either you can leave it like that or you can still just create a little bit to blend it okay so that is what i just did here so i hope you understand this so my friend the i have done with this study what remain now is to start marking my horizontal measurement that my bones my waist my hip and all like that okay so first thing i need to mark here is my bus circumference quarter of my bus circumference is 8.5 and then i'm going to add 1.5 inches for the dart intake okay so the total uh, number i have is uh, 10 so i repeat the same line on my bus line on my under bus my under bus is 7.25 and then i replace the the 1.5 inches also the same thing goes to my waist my waist is 7 inches and then replace it by that 1.5 inches that i took for the dart okay 
and now I'm going to place my my French curve row and start connecting all this line together okay so I hope you understand my explanation okay I hope you do if you don't if you get confused maybe you can replay it back or leave your comment below let me know the part that you don't understand okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to create this box uh, shape here below okay so I'm going to get my a French curve, the curve part like you see me doing, and then I will create my back shape. So um, I wanted to have a very short part, but when I'm going to sew it, I'm going to do the correction anyway because this one looks at, actually looks a little bit uh, long for me. Okay, but nevertheless, if you want the shape on your blouse, you can still use it also. Okay, so now that I'm done connecting my back shape, the next thing I'm going to add my sewing allowance which is one inch okay i'm going to add one inch and then i'm going to connect it together okay so please watch carefully to see what i'm doing if in case if you don't understand my explanation all right so now that i'm done with the front pattern i'm going to just level it front piece that is fp it means front pattern okay and uh, we're going to cut this part on fold that is what i just wrote here okay cut on full main y and um yeah on fold is going to be one piece and uh, yes it's also still on one piece and this side you're going to cut three times two okay so now that i'm done with this i'm going to cut out this part i'm not cutting all the pieces for now but i'm just going to cut some part you will see the part i'm going to cut okay so in case if you want to keep your yoke if you want to do something with the yoke so you just watch carefully and see how you're going to cut out the yoke part okay so you're going to cut this all like this okay first of all cut it first like this first before you're going to start cutting out the other part okay so after now we're going to start drafting the back pattern okay and don't forget to subscribe please so on the table i have a fresh pattern here which i've already done creating the shoulder line and uh, the zip allowance in case if you decide to use zip because me i'm using the lace up okay i'm not using zip but i just create this part in case if you want to use zip and the back pattern the difference for the back pattern is that it doesn't have a bust line and also it doesn't have uh, a hip line okay so i just mark my chest line from my shoulder to my chest line which is 8.25 now i'm marking my shoulder to my under bust which is 12.5 inches okay and uh, the next measurement I'm going to be marking now is from my shoulder to my waistline, which is 17 inches. I'm going to stop my measurement at my waistline because the back is just normal. There is no uh, bust uh, on it on the back, okay? So I'm going to level all my lines. So once I'm done, I'm going to start uh, work on my shoulder. I'm going to mark my shoulder measurement, which is uh, 7 inches. 14 divided by 2 is 7 and I repeat the measurement twice on my chest line so that I can have a straight line connecting my my armhole line okay so the next thing now I'm going to start by marking my neck weight so I'm also using the standard measurement 3 by 1 inch from my neck weight okay this is the back so in case if you're doing anything with the yoke okay so this is what you're going to do if you're on a small size your neck weight is going to be 3 by one inch or if you're in a bigger size it's going to be 3.5 by one inch okay so on the armhole line i'm going to mark one inch for shoulder slope okay and then i'm going to connect this guys pardon me i'm not feeling well okay if you can tell you can tell from my voice so yeah so after connecting this line the um, the shoulder slope i'm going to move on to my uh by adding my dart line so I'm dividing, thus finding the midpoint from my shoulder line there. And then I'm going to mark my bust pan measurement divided by 2, which is 3.5. I mark on the chest line also, I'm marking it on my waistline. So on my chest line, I'm going to go down by 1 inch. Okay, I'm going to go down by 1 inch, just like I did for the back. Okay, before I will do all my connection. So I'm going to connect this straight line. Connect all this mark here to create this straight line, okay? So um, that then I'm going to place it to the shoulder and connect it to me to the shoulder point. 
Okay, so now that I'm done here, so I'm going to start by taking my dot. For my underboss, I'm going to mark uh, 0 0.75, just like I did for the front, okay? So if you're looking out to snatch your your dress, like you don't want wrinkle, you want everything to look perfectly, whatever that you took from the front, you're also going to do the same thing to the back, okay? So I took 0 0.75 on both sides of the line which the total that I took here is 1.5, okay? So I'm going to connect this line together now. Connecting it with a straight line. So if you're watching to this very moment, I want to say a very big thank you for watching. So for this part here, I'm using a straight line. You know, from the back, I used a cup uh, rule, right? But here, I'm using a straight line because there is no boss at your back. So, you need to use a straight line to connect this do, uh, connect this mark, okay? So, now that I'm done from here, I forgot to add my armhole line from the, from the back here. So, I'm going to do it now. Finding the midpoint between this line and then I'm marking my half of a quarter of my boss circumference. And then I'm just going to connect it just this way. You know, the front armhole... Is different from the back armhole okay so this is how the back is being connected so yeah so now I'm going to after done with this I'm going to start marking quarter of my boy circumference okay quarter of my boy circumference which is um uh, 8.5 okay I'm going to mark it uh, before I will mark it I need to drop the neck my back neckline okay from my chest line I went down by one inch so, so this is how my back neck line is going to be. So now I'm going to mark my underboss, uh, quarter of my underboss circumference is 7.25. And then I'm going to replace my dart intake, okay? So my waistline is 7 inches, quarter of my waist circumference is 7. And then I'm going to replace the 1.5 inches that I took from the dart, okay? Always remember to replace your dart. Okay, so now I'm going to connect this line. So this line, uh, for the back line, it look a little bit awkward, okay? It doesn't look kind of shapely like the way the front line was, okay? So you won't mind, don't mind about it. We are going to do some correction when I'm done with all this, okay? I'm going to show you what you need to do to get the line look uh, correspond to the front side, okay? So now that I'm done from here... Um, what I'm going to do now is to connect this uh, straight line, okay, this straight line here to connect my neck, back neck line rather. So I'm going to connect this line with this straight ruler, okay, just connect it like that. You know, the, the chest line doesn't have a dart, so don't mind about it. I'm going to extend this line out in case if you want to use zip, okay. If you're using zip instead of less up, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to extend this line out. And your zip allowance, you're going to mark 1.5 inches for the chest line. And for the waistline, you're going to mark 1 inch to eliminate a zipper bulge, okay? And then you're going to connect it with a straight ruler like this. So I'm going to label it zip allowance. I'm not using this. I'm showing you this for the tutorial and for those who may decide to use zip, okay, instead of lace up, okay? So now that I'm done from here, I'm just going to add my sewing allowance. Please remember to add your sewing allowance, okay? Remember to add your sewing allowance. Don't forget it. So now that I'm done from here, um, for the upper part, I didn't add the uh, sewing allowance. I'm going to do that when I'm going to cut it on my fabric, okay? So I'm going to cut out all this part here, the part I don't need. So I'm going to cut out the zip allowance as well. So in case if you're using zip, okay? So this is how your back pattern should look like. But if you're not using zip, I'm not using zip, I'm using a lace-up, okay? So I'm going to cut out the zip allowance out so that we can do some uh, extra modification how your back should look like, okay? So I'm going to label this part back. This is my back pattern. B back and P is back pattern, okay? P represents the pattern. So from the dart part here, you can decide to have two pieces. But I don't want to have two pieces. I just want to have one piece from the back. So I'm going to slash this back from the middle point here. I'm just going to slash it open. Okay, I'm going to slash this part open just the way you see me doing. And then I'm going to place the uh, the pattern like this. Okay, I'm going to lap it. 
so that I can use my tape to cut that part out, okay? So I'm actually figure out, just trying to arrange it proper so that I can be able to get exactly what I want, okay? So once you're satisfied with how it fits, then you're going to use your tape rule to hold it. So I'm going to use my tape. I'm using my tape now, not tape rule. I'm using my tape now to to hold the two patterns together, okay? So I'm going to place it like that. Make sure you arrange it well. So now I'm going to trim off my tape and uh, extend this tape out like you see me doing, okay? So now that I'm done from here, now I have one piece together. So the next thing that I'm going to then take up two inches from the back. You know, I'm going to use my lace up to replace the, the additional line that I'm going to take out. Okay, so I'm going to mark two inches from my waistline. I'm going to mark two inches. Okay, I'm going to use red marker so that you understand this proper. I'm going to mark two inches. So from the chest line, I was a bit confusing. I wanted to use 2.5, but I later changed my mind. I used two inches instead. Okay, so I marked two inches. And then I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect this point together. I hope you understand what I'm doing. I hope you are understanding my explanation. So once I'm done, I'm just going to cut this part out. I don't need this part anymore. So this is my back pattern. Okay, so this is where my listing is going to be. But not as this, it is boya. I'm just indicating to you to know that it's going to have listing. So now that I'm done from... The back now i'm going to do the modification that i was talking about on the back pattern now i told you that it was not lined up it was not corresponding to the front side okay so as you can see the front is a little bit curvy than the back okay so watch and see what i'm going to do so to get it correspond to the back uh, side i'm going to place my back pattern okay my back pattern right side facing me and then I'm going to get my front pattern, okay? Place it just the way you see me doing, okay? Make sure the line is accurate the way the under bust line is accurate, the waistline is accurate. And then I'm going to trace this line out like you see me doing, okay? I'm going to trace it out and then I'm going to trim out those S's. Now, I don't need this part. I just trim this out, okay? So by the time you cut this on your fabric and when you're going to join it, is going to align together so after now i'm going to cut out my front pieces the part that i don't need okay so please watch carefully to see where i'm cutting out okay if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please can me do so so this is the back pattern the back pattern is just one piece while the front is two piece okay so I'm going to level this part that you need to add your joining allowance. Any part that you didn't see me put labeling that you need, uh, you should add 0 0.5. Know that that part I have already added my joining allowance. But any part that you see me adding, please remember to add your joining allowance when you are cutting it on the fabric. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so turn on your notification bell so you get notified when another tutorial will be okay and um yes have a blessed day have a good evening good afternoon good morning wherever you're watching from and uh, once again thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next tutorial bye